Hello, this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at creating armor with some of the new tools that when you combine it with live boolean, you can get some pretty incredible detail with very little work. So, let's get started. Now there's a few things we want to do first. I'm going to hold down control, go over here and select brush. And I want to make sure that Mesh Project, one of the new brushes for 2021.6, is selected when I hold down my control key. Now, normally on default, that's going to have your lasso, but I don't really like the lasso so much. I use the curve, and you'll see why as we get started here. So, let me go ahead, and another thing we will need to do also is check our intensity. Like normally, it's going to be on 100. We're going to want to cut this back down to about 9, because that's going to be basically the thickness of our armor. There'll also be a bevel built in, too. So, let's move on in. Really doesn't matter what size this brush is, because I'm going to be using the curve tool. And double alt to give me a pretty sharp increase. It'll round it out anyway. Now, you may like a better angle to draw your stuff at. Now, when we get to the end, you're going to want to hold down shift so that it knows that it is a uh, new piece of mesh. Okay, now we'll move in to the piece of armor we just created. Get whatever angle you're comfortable at. Because we're going to basically do the same thing, only we're going to cut it out this time. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to be perfect here because it's a tutorial. I'm not going to waste your time with that. We're just going to move along. This will all become pretty apparent what I'm doing if you haven't seen this before. And since I want it to be a cutout, I'm going to hold the Alt button down. And you will see that it cuts it out. If I have my symmetry on, it's doing it on both arms at the same time. Now we're going to do the same thing, only we might just want to get a little bit closer. It may be a little bit different angle here. And what we're going to do, you can do this in segments, or we can do the whole thing like we did the cutouts. But I think I'm just going to do this in a segment like this. Hold down Shift. And there's our first segment. Now we'll come back and do the same thing. Now there I didn't get my double click on. I'm just going to see if I can save that. No, I don't really like that, so we just undo. Double Alt. There we go. That's quite a bit better. Now we'll just do the same thing. However close you get up here and start your lines, however much distance you're going to have between your armor. Again, we're not trying to be exact here. And your armor doesn't always have to be the exact design inside, or excuse me, in the filler, as it is in the cutout. Now, if you want to see what this looks like when we turn off live boolean, it doesn't look anything like what our final product is. But that's the great thing about live boolean. Now, I'm not real sold on that. So, let's try that again. Even though this was a demo, it should look a little better than that. There we go. That's a little better. And then we can just remove the mask. Now from here we're just going to go to old school cutout or extrude. So I'm going to go into light box, alpha, and you should have this hard surface alpha in there. And we'll just pick one out here. I'm not even really sure which one I want to use. 
Let me just say something like this right here. Something simple. Now, <clears throat> there's not going to be a whole lot of, of mesh here. And I'll show you what I mean. And all we're doing here basically is just regular alpha and thing. But as you see, there's, there's not a whole lot of mesh to work with. We also want to change the drag. And there's just not enough meat there. So what we need to do is come over here into geometry. And I've been dividing mine up at least twice. And we may even have to do more than that. That will give us a little better. Now if you want it to fade out like that on each end, you just leave the brush like it is. But what I'm going to do is take this focal shift, which is on zero, and I'm going to move it all the way to minus 100, which makes it one big brush. And that way, when we actually start doing something, we get the full edge to edge effect. What else can we find up here? I'll show you what these do, even though I'm not using many circles in this. And I think what we have here is on add, and that brings it out. But I think what I want to do with this is go to Z sub and let it dig in perhaps maybe more than that I'm going to increase my Z intensity and of course these can be any any of these that you want and you'll also find alphas uh, at ArtStation and other places that are actually much better than the alphas that come with this let's go back and look for something else in fact, I'll show you what I mean. I do have some alphas from an artist over there. This one's one you'll recognize that I've already used. It's like a latch. And of course, we have a ton of polys. This is like a 35 million poly model so far. So that's why these things are coming out this smooth. Let's go back and grab something else. Let's see, we'll grab one of these faded in types so you can see what they do. Oops. Alright. Now, I'm just going to go back in and grab this. And let's see if we can dress this up a little more. Of course, it would probably help if I got them a little better centered. I'm not very good at doing that, just looking at it, am I? Maybe one of these days we can move on. Anyway, that's as good as it's going to get. So you can see right there how easy it was to cut those kind of details in, particularly this here. Now, these are three different tools here. We've got the original that we laid down, the cutout, and then the insert. So let's go ahead and take off the visibility on those. And we're back to our original mesh here. And let's say that we wanted to uh, do some more work with it, like uh, a strap or something going off to the side. Again, I'm just hitting that alt. You'll notice now that that has become part of that mesh because we're back on that particular subtool. And when I click another subtool, you notice that you can tell it. I mean, it looks more like it's part of the mesh. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's the cleanest mesh when it does something like that. Let me move back up to it. As you can see, it's not exactly a clean mesh, but you can re-apologize and a remesh and things like that later on. This is, though, a very easy way to go out and get things like straps, uh, clamps, whatever you wanted to add. You could also see where we could very easily draw out our armor underneath the arm 
and connect them together. And of course, all of these are still here. All we have to do is turn them on. And that the, all of this was done in that same method. As you can see here, like I told you, it was live Boolean. You shut it off. That takes out all our cutouts that are live right now. But as you can see, it makes for pretty good armor, pretty decent armor. Anyway, that's how that works. Hope this helps.